High Plains Technology says it's time for school. Of course, it's Wednesday and Katie Shirley is in the studio. It is time for school, of course, talking about High Plains Technology Center. Today I have with me um, Jamie Spillman. Good morning, Jamie. How are you guys? Good. Glad to have you here. Jamie is our diesel um, instructor starting his third year. That is right. And um, he's been a great addition to High Plains. Um, took over Mr. Stone, was the um, instructor before um, Jamie. So, Jamie, um, tell us a little bit about what you did before um, you came out to High Plains. So I've done a little bit of anything and everything, but on the mechanic side of things, mom had pictures with me and my dad. I was probably three or four years old, wrenches in my hand, clearly didn't know what I was doing. But uh, I was pretty much self-taught all of my life, and I still continue learning. I mean, uh, to me, if you if you do this for a living, you you're going to learn every day. Yeah. Um, did some oil field work, um, pumping unit mechanic, compressor mechanic. Uh, had a trucking business, and out of necessity, learned how to work <laughs> on all my own trucks right? because a lot of times the the mechanic shops were charging me more per hour than I was actually making trucking. And I, I'm like, man, I'm going to have to offset Why these not? costs. So a lot of it was self, self-learned self yeah. out of necessity. Uh, but I do enjoy doing what I do, fixing things. And then now that I'm I'm out there with the kids, I, I do love my job. It's it's a lot of fun. That's awesome. I and mean, you can tell the camaraderie uh, among you and your students is awesome. And they really have a high level of respect for you. And... Um, so that, that's been neat to see. Tell us a few of the projects that you guys work on, because it's not always just your um, diesel I, engine. No, that is correct. I see things just a little bit differently than some, probably. Uh, I don't see gas and diesel. I see nuts and bolts, and some are bigger than others. Mm-hmm. Um, in, in the area we live in, uh, you know, we have ag, we have oil fields, we have personal um I think you need to kind of know how to work on a lot of different stuff. So we'll do all kinds of stuff. I, I've overhauls. We, you know, on some tractors, we've we've pulled some motors out in in pickups, head gaskets, um, split tractors. Worked on transmissions, swathers, heavy equipment. I like to have kind of an array of stuff because you know the guys coming through my class that are going to go on to the next level and and turn wrenches for a living. Um, if they're going to do it in our area. They need to know how to do more than just work on one thing. They 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 need to understand mechanics in general, and that's obviously my opinion. And I'm sure there's people that will disagree with that, but that's right. my theory on it anyway. Yeah, I think it's great. It seems like the students really enjoy it, especially when they get to bring in, like, um, what was the tractor we just have in? Was it Creed? His name? Yeah, uh, White Creed. Yeah, he brought in a little Fordson Major, which was kind of ironic. My dad had three or four of them things and they yeah. really were kind of junkers but they they ran really well and i remember mo boarding uh, a 40 acre field that dad had bought we'd taken it from grass turned it back into farm ground and i, I farmed that whole thing with a fordson major so yeah. kind of brought back some memories yeah. but we actually got it fired off and, and awesome. running today after about 12 or years or so that it had not been yeah i think started. i think why it said 10 or 12 something like that had just yeah. been sitting there yeah, that so, was a pretty neat project to get to see it come back to life. We did kind of have a cool, I had a cool call yesterday. Um, a lady called me uh, and donated a tractor to my class. It's not a diesel, it's a little farm all. But cool. uh, I think we're going to try to take that and, and maybe do a little restoration on it. And, nice. And offer it for sale at some point in time. And how does that go? How do you come about some of the projects that you have um, for the people to know if they want to donate something? Kind of how? What is that? procedure like or what? basically everything goes through me um as far as live work uh, there are some things that i don't want to attempt right with the students because it's a lot more in depth and, mm-hmm. and we're not quite to that level with with most yeah um but they can call me uh, run it by me if i feel it's something that'll fit in yeah um, we will tackle it i had a call at launch as a matter of fact to split an 8650 uh, four-wheel drive which we did an 8640 last year um so I told them get it up there. So yeah. hopefully around November we'll have a big old four wheel drive in there. Awesome. Working on the transmission. And what are the some some of the next steps some of your students have have 
gone on to like um so Emmett King from last year and he went he's from was a Shattuck student on yes. a scholarship at High Plains. Uh actually I don't think Emmett was scholarship. Was he, he, he's in our district. Yeah, well, age. he went to high school in Shattuck, but they own land and district. Right. So he was able to come that away. Okay. Uh, he came his senior year. Um Emmett uh took the well, he didn't really take it, but he was offered and he had to go through all the all the steps. But he got accepted to the cat Warren Katz program called Think Big, uh-huh. uh, which is a work kind of a work study. Um, he graduated in May last year, uh, started at Warren Cat in June, worked all summer at Warren Cat in Oklahoma City for uh, you know through the summer, uh-huh. and then in September. And I th- I haven't talked with him this week. I spoke with him last week. I think he started at OSU IT. Okay, and will get his associate's degree there um through that program now he can obviously go on to his bachelor's if he wanted to and Uh i think warren offers that in the future if they want to do that um he loves it that's pretty Uh, awesome yeah he he's doing well with it he likes it good people um no complaints so i'm excited about it um him and then i have another student named damian brown um we went to uh so this is my third year, so I'm just getting started with all this kind of stuff. But we we went out to Texas to the uh, Western Equipment Competition, uh-huh. um, and Damien scored fourth at two stations and 11th overall, and I believe there was 160 participants. Wow. Um, so they actually got with him, uh, hired him here at our local Western Equipment dealership. He worked through the summer. He still works there after school. Um, and he's officially signed for their, and I don't know what they call it, uh, but their John Deere school, I think it's in Garden City. Right. So when he graduates uh, this year, he will have completed my course, and then he will be going to Garden City to start that. Um, and I believe that's a two-year deal, but there's all kinds of, of incentives for that. It's a really, really neat deal. That is pretty cool. Well, those are some good um progress success stories coming from your program okay and we have a really neat story too um that we've just shared recently um in the news and on social media about one of your students carson stevens and carson goes to shattuck high school right he does okay and so he was here last year yes and um tell us a little bit about his story so carson just lives right down from the tech center um and had transferred to shattuck i think Three years ago, something like that. Anyways, he he has ataxia, and and it's a like a neuro neuromuscular yeah. disease uh-huh. or something, um, and it affects his walking. and And it last year it pro- progressively got worse. Right. And uh, I talked with the other students, kind of seen a need or or whatnot. I, you know, kids that age they want to go hunting with their buddies. They want to go fishing with their buddies. Be able you know, to be that, out and about and yeah, in nature. And, and with him, it, it just couldn't. Um, yeah. So I was like, I think a tracked wheelchair would be pretty cool. And I'd visit with Carson about it and and uh, kind of brought the idea to up to, to administration, obviously, and to see the process on how to start doing it. And yeah. word traveled pretty quick. It didn't take long for a lot of people to step up and – and donate for the deal and the biggest thing was was lead time with the the world where we live in right now uh, i think it was 18 weeks lead time just to get it right. built yeah so almost up to about fifteen thousand dollars was it, it was, was four, gathered fourteen seven ninety is what the chair was okay and then um, the chair came in last week tuesday so we got to present it to him yep. and he was pretty um, appreciative and thankful. He said first thing he did when he got home was went everywhere trying to see if he, he could get it stuck, and he couldn't get it stuck. So oh, yeah. It, it successfully um, held up to what he was, you know, testing out, and then he really enjoyed the, the rifle mount and some of the customized features you guys added to it. Yeah. I've, I've, right now I actually was getting a phone call from the, the administrator at Shattuck, they're having their homecoming this week, uh-huh. and some of the other Shattuck students were telling me that tomorrow they're having tug of war. <laughs> well, uh, I'm going to try to see if Carson can't be involved with tug of war with his right. chair, and maybe they can maybe that they can win. Pretty so awesome. uh, we'll have to you'll have to let us know how that goes. Yeah, it, I'm excited about it. Carson's excited, so 
is a neat deal. It's a great class. He said he's never felt, um, he's definitely never been bullied and just totally been accepted from day one, he said, which is, is rare from all his other experiences at school. And he, he took that to come from your leadership down to how the students treated him. I loved seeing them give him a piggyback ride down the hall, you know, and just that camaraderie they have with one another. Yeah, and, and, and I think he is right in a sense. It does start with me. I don't like to take the credit for that, um, but I think it does. And, and, and I don't – everybody's good at something. It may not be what we're doing right that instant, right. but everybody is good at something. And, yeah, and I try to it. find the good in everybody. And yeah. I think the kids kind of follow suit with that. So it's been fun. It's wonderful. Well, thank you, Jamie, for being my guest today. And we'll be back here next week on 100.1.